If you want to unlock the CarPlay in your vehicle to have multiple apps, included um, Waze, or you also want to make the screen that it takes up bigger as well, this video is for you. Unlock your CarPlay today. Hey guys, if you just picked up a 2021 uh, Mercedes-Benz um, with the latest MBUX um, software installed, uh, specifically running the non-navigation version of um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, whatever you use, you'll find a lot of applications um, are missing that you're used to, especially if you had Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, previous model cars, um, going back from 2020 before. Um, you'll find a newer Mercedes Benz, the new MBUX system, new Apple, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, will have a lot of apps missing in um, the infotainment screen when you go in. Um, this is our first... Um, Experience with this, we've had our previous Mercedes-Benz had navigation, so we never had to use um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You'll find the, it looks really bad, it's a big blocky screen now, it's a big block square in the middle of a beautiful um, <laughs> little box kind of screen. <laughs> so you have, that's one issue we had, but you also find a lot of app applications are missing. Uh, specifically, if you use the Waze navigation, Waze is, is going to be gone. Even if you have it selected inside, I'm going to go into settings. Normally what you do is you go into your settings and you'll go into access on phone screen and I'm going to unlock my, I'm using my wife's phone here as I um, record her screen. So when you go into, when you go into your, when you go into your uh, Android Auto in the settings, normally what you would do is customize your launcher and you'd select as many apps as you want. You notice we have a lot of apps selected here that don't show up in Android Auto. And Waze is checked off being one of them. That does not show up in when we go up here. So when you go up here, it's not showing up here. And a lot of other apps do not show up. Um, also, I don't like how that blocky reg resolution, it's like a 720p resolution um, of the actual thing. They see with the 720p is when you use Google Maps, and Google Maps is like standard on this, so that's the navigation they want you to use. Like you say, I want to go to Stu Leonard's. What it does, it blocks my map. So ha literally half of the screen is just the uh, directions, and I can't really see. Like when I drive, I like to rely on this screen specifically more. And if you try to touch this, you have to keep recentering. So as you drive, this goes off the map, and it stays in this screen. So... It, it, you have to keep recentering, so it's a weird setup. I'm not sure if the previous version of Android Auto did this. Like we've never used Android Auto before this year, so this is our first experience with it. But I hate this setup. It's just a really awful layout that you have to keep swiping and recentering, keep swipe as you drive. Don't like it at all. So what you're gonna do is what I found out after two weeks of searches on the internet. There's no videos on YouTube to do this. In the launcher itself, in Android Auto. Um, we don't have iPhones, so this is only going to be kind of specifically for Android Auto. I'm not sure if iPhones would allow you to do this. You get, come down at the bottom of the screen. There's a version and a number. You tap this 10 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that will unlock the app into developer settings. So now once you do that, you go to the three dots here. Hit that. And you'll see developer settings come up there. You're going to select developer settings boom so you go into the first thing you're going to do is application mode you're going to select developer so that's in developer you know come down i'm going to do the next thing is video resolution i'm going to select that sorry for the blurriness guys and i'm going to go right now it's not set for anything but i want 1080p i do not want any of these lower resolution um display so i'm going to select 1080p and then the last thing I'm going to check off is unknown sources. That's going to allow me to have as many applications as I want on my Android Auto um, car navigation screen. So I'm going to select unknown sources. Boom. That's also going to include Waze. So I'm going to get Waze now. I hate touch screens. <laughs> so boom, that's selected. And that's all done. So I'm going to go out of here. And I'm going to go into my customized launcher again. And now you can select as many apps as you want. And all these apps will show up. I'm not sure if it's unlimited apps or not. But it will give you a lot more apps than before. So now I'm going to just unplug and just restart everything. I'm going to probably turn off the car as well. Just to be sure, I just turn off the car. I'm going to plug in the phone. 
It's my wife's phone. I'm just beating it up. <laughs> so the phone is plugged in. I'm going to start up my car. I'm Daddy here. Android Auto goes right into the Google Maps. It wants to know, me to go back to um, where I was, which is cool. That's why I like Android Auto. It just goes right into what you're doing before. And now, you first thing you'll see is this A, all car apps. So there, you you see that. That's for the developer app option. There, that gives you that feature. And then when you go down, now you have Waze. And you can put as many apps as you want on that. Now, Waze being one of them. So Waze is there now. And now my screen, actually, because I switched to a 1080p resolution, it widens up a bit. It takes up a bit more real estate uh, on this beautiful letterbox. Um, it's the MBUX thing. It's really nice, but it's just sad that it only used that little tiny square. But now I have more real estate. I have my Waze. Um, what I like about Waze, too, it's Waze. Um, let's see. Hey, let's navigate to Stu Leonard's. Okay, handing off to Waze. Okay, so Google sends it off to Waze. It's a little slower than Google because um, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go. So I could call. So I'm sorry. So it gives you a bunch of options now what to do. I'm going to go, hit go, because I just want to go there. Calculator is really take quick. I-87 North <coughs> New York Thruway Yonkers. So, Arrival time on this route is similar to North Broadway Yonkers. So what I like about this is that it doesn't take up half the screen. I have more real estate to watch my screen as I'm driving if I want to do that. Especially if you're in a place you don't know too well and you want to... Um... So I'm going to do a test drive here. For you guys to show how, how it works. I'm literally in my pajamas here, <laughs> guys. So we're in the back of a parking garage. We're all set. Let's go. So in ways. Four hundred feet. Turn right on our. Ways knows. Um, I'm doing my thing. I like ways more than um, the Google. Google is great. It's just on this application, it just kind of sucks. And that's one thing about Android CarPlay. I'm hoping um, the MBUX thing. I'm hoping Mercedes ends up doing a wireless thing. Because with the cables, it just will always unplug. And Mercedes gives you a half half of a cable and you have to provide the other half. So it's it's already disconnected. That's one of the issues we've, we're having with it. So. Yeah, guys, if you are highly recommend if you get a Mercedes Benz in 2021, do not rely on this. Um, our dealer was like, oh, it's the, it's the next best thing. And they don't make a lot of their cars with navigation. So right they'll try to tell you that this is like just as good as navigation. It is not. Get a car with navigation, especially if you use it a lot. Um, I'm just going to U-turn and stop this. So I highly recommend just get a car with navigation, right? Don't um, rely on this because it's, it's not wireless. So you have a lot of cables and... That, just become unplugged. It's, I don't know. It's just messy. And I saw the navigation after getting this. And I wish we would have gotten navigation as an option on, on uh, our car. But that's it, guys. That's how you get the Waze onto your uh, Android CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, whatever it's called, on your 2021 Mercedes-Benz MBUX um, infotainment. All Mercedes, whether it's a GLS, GLB, A-Class, C-Class, um, E-Class, they all probably mostly don't come with navigation anymore you'd have to get this android apple carplay business as your standard option so if you rely on ways and you like to have more than more than five or six apps on your screen um highly recommend just unlock your developer mode in your android phone all android phones this will work for whether you have a samsung i'm using we have the samsung galaxy s10 plus here it should work in a lot of different Android phones. That's it, guys. See you guys in the next one. Happy New Year's, everyone. Bye.